beat you. I really wanted to, you know, have you come on the show and tell your story and stuff like that. Hey, it's nice to be here, man. I thank you for like reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity. Yeah. So, what what made you um, become a martial artist? Like, what was the influence behind that? My dad. Uh, my dad is the founder and creator of our style, Red Dragon Karate. Um, you know, my dad was my hero, and I wanted to be around him, so I went to the studio and started learning martial arts. Yeah, and I hate that you guys get excluded out of everything, because y'all pretty much as important as the Shakur side of the family as well. I just hate that they don't put y'all, yeah. like, in the movies and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I'm just glad people, you know, you know, like it, and I enjoy the history. And Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. <laughs> yeah, um, I have some cold teeth, but we're back. Hold on one second. Everything good on my end. But yeah, we had such a great first half. It was so cool. My brain broke back, and we're going to finish this up because it was getting so good. <laughs> I was about to talk about shit. But yeah, it's going to get so good. Okay. I don't have brother, my bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm getting, no. I'm getting Trump calls and stuff, man. I don't, I don't know how they got my number, man. <laughs> Vote election calls and stuff, man. Man, I've been getting calls, Texas. All you too, huh? Yes. Man. I'm still, I'm still not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do what y'all want. Me either. My woman just said, we, it's tomorrow. I ain't listening to that. Yeah, but. I really wanted to like just you know go back to what I was saying, just okay. about us. Um, we need to start doing things for ourselves, man. You know, you know, like the craziest part was like segregation when it was just we was just colored people. Yeah, and we had so many different businesses and so many different avenues of wealth and. They, they're trying to make it seem like we was always poor. Yeah. But we was disenfranchised. Yeah. It's a difference because it was so many different Black Wall Street, 66 of them. And I don't know if you, like, watch the documentary on Prime. It's about Lake Lanier. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm, to, I'm into all that. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so it lets me look at rivers and lakes in a different light now because yeah. it was just so many different black towns that got destroyed and i just hate the fact they always want to just make it seem like we lazy that we don't want to do nothing but when we was y'all destroyed it destroyed everything and kick got people off their land killed people bro and that's why i always you know Got to remind people, like, look, I ain't no dumbass nigga, so I know <laughs> history. Like, <laughs> I know what we're capable of, and we can do it again. But in reality, I just think that a lot of black folks want a savior, but a white savior. That's what I think. Yeah. And when somebody from your neighborhood is doing something great, and doing something remarkable and actually telling you and giving you game, you don't listen. You don't think that person is eligible to tell you anything. But I don't know because I listen to anybody that's doing something young, old, middle age. You know, it's just all about just the person's character and that, what that person could um, do. Because we need a plan. We just need just all these people that's getting money to start something up and the ones that got money they don't want to come back because they're gonna get hate so it's just a lose-lose situation but i still have faith in some of my people 
and I also had to wake up. I also had to really realize um, who I get the most scrutiny from, and it's by my own people, especially when you in business for yourself, because everybody think you supposed to do shit for free, or you're supposed to give them a discount, or you're supposed to overlook certain things, but they don't care if you eat, they don't care if you get a dollar, and this and that, so, and there's always people you know, always come from the people you know the most, so, yeah, I don't know, man, I just, like I said, I just um see where we're heading, and I see that this is no time to really, like, be slacking off. Off. I just think that it's time for us to really just start, you know, being builders again. Because if we can build just certain things, bro, like schools, like grocery stores, you know, be able to be um, just one of those just makers like we used to, then we would be great. We would be straight, you know. And that, and that, goes, that goes to the top of you were saying like what you said about the presidents and the stuff like with the blacks on the business and stuff and on how you said like it can be your own people like i see so many people saying like uh about who they voting for and stuff but them be the same people tearing our black people down that's with stores and restaurants and you know that's here you know mm -hmm. like this it starts small how can you go for something so big like voting for a president or something when you hating on something that started off small and your own people, you know? Yeah. Like, we, they into the wrong, wrong stuff to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with restaurants, like, tear down our restaurants, like the people who open up restaurants and stuff here to try to be successful as blacks or Mexicans or even white, you know, like, try to do something for here. Our people tear it down, you know? Uh, or or got something bad to say. You know, it can be about a, a sandwich or, or, or a hat, you know? It's, it's like your own people gonna tear you down but vote for people or come together for people they don't know that is full of manipulation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I never understood that. Cause... I never understood that, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, because yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, we all can be making money. It's enough money for everybody. But it's just that stigma of I got to be number one or I got to be the king or I got to be the queen. But we can all be kings. Yeah. I'm just the king of what I do. Yeah. And it's so funny. Just people who are trying to control my business or try to control my show, but they never had the guts to record an episode, a full-length episode by themselves without running out of material or staying on topic or just don't have the experience with media like I do to try to tell me how to run my show. But I just laugh because I look at just what they do now and stuff and they don't hold no um, legitimacy because everybody wants to listen to just the wrong people. But you listen to anybody who been in your predicament or been in your situation and then you learn from that person. That person who has been there they're not going to tell you anything wrong because they have experienced it. It's just like I tell people who wants to do a podcast that you can't just do two, three shows a month. This is a reoccurring thing because your buzz would disappear so fast. And I see, you on, I see you on like what? Episode 740 what? 40? <laughs> yeah, Come seven, on now. Yeah, 744. Man, you're doing it big, man. I'm proud of you, man. And then yeah, thank sometimes you, man. You, hear for a lot of, from a lot of your people you yeah. know on how you doing man because i i was like i was one of the one of the first ones on your show so i you know i seen the progress you know what i'm saying yeah. and i ain't i never doubted you man but i'm like you know how long would it go or how long would it be or what would bro do with it you know what i'm saying yeah. and look at you now man 700 and what 40 yep 740 44 come on you know? Nah, man. Come on, now. You, it, it's time for a trophy, man. Yeah, thank you. For real. You, it's man. time for everybody to give you your flowers. For real, man. Yeah, and and it, it's just the thing. I ain't think it was going to, you know, t take for you to say that. It just should be self-explanatory because yeah. I believe that I had the best and the brightest 
on my platform. I didn't just have rappers because I didn't want people to label me like that because yeah. it was just like, oh, this is a music podcast or this yeah. is this and urban. I'm not urban, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. live in a hood, but I have multicultural people on here from every walks of life. And I just wanted us to just really dis display our intelligence and our greatness and you know, and, and bring people together because I had everybody from all side of towns on here. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been, I've been seeing that. I'm like, dang, yeah, it's it's good to be mutual, yeah. man. You know, yeah. yeah. You, you, I feel like you live longer, you do better by being mutual. You know, don't cut off your size or whatever. You know, like I say, like this, like how can you? I never got into beef either. Like that's that's something to do with it too. Like because say uh. You know, you don't have any, but like, say you were to have two kids now and mm -hmm. you claim in the neighborhood, how can you, you got to look over your shoulder, taking your kids to Chuck E. Cheese or McDonald's, or you got to worry about going to this store or this gas station. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's good to be mutual, man. Like how you say, I, I have all sides of town. That's mutual. And that's, that keeps your business going. That keeps you going. You know, you didn't, you're not limiting your options. You know what I'm saying? And that's great, man. That's great that you're doing that, man. Yeah, because I had to just kill that neg negative um, narrative, you know what I'm saying? Just being the um, guy from the South Side, because that's what I was... That's what you was raised. At, and yeah. raised yeah. And, and a lot of us went to school together. So yeah. it was just like when you sit back and think about it, like, okay... From the south side, but I go to school with this nigga from BV, or I go to school with this nigga from the east side, the north side, um, uptown, and this and that. So we can't always fight each other every day. We have to learn, you know. We we in this class learn to learn. So eventually, we have to open our books and oblige find a teacher, you know, what what they got going on. So I always just had that mentality: is that all of us could be great as long as we you know put aside our petty differences because none of us own this shit anyway we ain't owning nothing <laughs> we, ain't got no, we ain't got no store we ain't got no no library you know like no school we not owning the schools you know we doing houses and stuff and all that and stuff but we ain't, ain't nobody owning no school and no hospitals you know and that's, no doubt that's what we need the most no doubt and we're so busy making the, the prison system rich there you go. we're making oh. these courtrooms richer and then we're making go. these morticians richer yeah. especially the morticians because i was watching this documentary piece on that don't even be having our loved ones in the caskets for real you know what I'm saying? I, I, I watched that too I, yeah I that they get them out as soon as you uh right, let's talk about that man yeah, right, hell do yeah. That? Do you believe that they really take the loved ones out as soon as we turn our backs and leave? I believe so. You, you believe yep. so? Yeah. Okay, why do you believe so? Let me let me get your topic on that. Because we're not going to question it because right. we be so mentally out of it or emotionally damaged yeah. at that time that we're not going to be logical. Okay or be um suspicious enough to actually realize like is this my loved one that i'm dropping into the ground or throwing my rose at because you never know like it, that intermission <laughs> where they just swiping out bodies or putting them in a cooler or putting them in a furnace and then yeah. making us sit back and believe that we are burying this person yeah so yeah, it's it's scary, man, because it's easy to take advantage of somebody in a vulnerable state. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on it? I, my thoughts is, yeah, I'm, I'm similar to you, man. I feel like the government got a lot to do with it. It's a lot of tricky stuff going on, you know, and why do we got to leave, you know? Yeah. Why do we got to leave for y'all to raise people down or, or anything? Why we can't? And watch you know, why we can't watch the whole thing why we can't watch the dirt go over you know mm -hmm. we probably can watch the raisin going down but why we can't watch y'all throw the dirt down you know like what do y'all do after we leave you know like yeah. I'll, I'll i keep my, my mind open because if you 
stick to what they give you, you you'll be lost man you'll be lost so i always try to keep my mind open to a lot of stuff man yeah and then so many people that just lost and because the stuff like i'll be finding out and stuff like that just about how it was so many black slave owners it was crazy right? they was giving them away first <laughs> Y'all yeah. gave, gave us away first, you know? Yeah, because people get the, the, the term more and the term Indian confused. Right. They wasn't the same people. No. And back in them days, it was all about class. Yep. So if you were like middle class or when you was rich, you was considered um, a more. You know what I'm saying? Just the... Okay. the um, establishment because it really wasn't no money back in them days like that it was uh -huh. like it was just like coins but it was also of how many slaves you have and yep. one of the biggest slave owners he had the same name as me william ellison he had yep. over 175 slaves and he was black and that freaked me out because they whitewashed a lot of people. You would think that was white, but they was black this whole time. And even George Washington. Washington sound like what kind of last name? What kind of surname? A nigga last name. So he wasn't white. No, he wasn't. So I tell everybody, like, y'all get this thing really confused because it's really impossible for all of us to have been slaves when it's just like, like you go from you know Mississippi and um Florida and all that other stuff. Those was um Indian territories. It was considered Florida once upon a time. It wasn't no Georgia. It wasn't no um Alabama. It was all Florida. Yes, it was. So it was one big territory. So when like the government and the constitution was being passed that's when um states were becoming um legitimized so it's just really like a whole deep um rabbit hole that a lot of people isn't ready for but i just always just advise people to read for yourself and i get tired of people trying to make me seem like i'm dumb when everyone's dumb <laughs> and, <laughs> I hear that, man. Yeah, because I've done like over 155 history segments. Well, y'all paid attention? Or y'all were just buying past it? Like, oh, this nigga don't know what he's talking about. Because I really just be just at the crib, man, when you would think that I would be rolling a blunt or smoking weed or drunk or this and that. I actually be like watching these type of pieces and, and just like, damn, like they really lots of us and so many people went to that grave with this rhetoric and i just like damn like it makes sense why we're the most hated it makes sense why we're the most oppressed because they know that we are god's people and i wanted to okay. ask you this i wanted to ask you this um okay because i really again been um reading stuff man so do you think that America is the original Egypt? Do you think that? I believe that I, I believe it was all one big world, man. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. And I believe it was it was us first. Yeah. For sure. I believe yeah. it was us. I believe we was tricked because I don't know. I think it was like certain stuff we lacked it and we were sold from each other to other people to gain power. And once they, they got certain power, they turned the world into pieces. That's why I feel like we got 50 states. I believe it's way more than that. I believe it's stuff outside the ice wall. I believe like it's probably another United States outside the ice wall. You know, I believe so. I believe like people live outside of just United States and other places so i believe like man it was all one at first and 
I don't know how the government got in control of stuff, but they split it and, and lied to us on what stuff was called and and where stuff at, you know, because now we finding out that certain places ain't worth certain places what they say, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like with I say like with time, man. How we know what, what time it is for real? Like it's say six oh two. How do we know it's six oh two? How do we know that <laughs> you know how do we know that is uh what's today? Uh Monday. How do we know that? How do we know that is November right now? You know, we always given something and we have to follow. Like, but how do we know that? Like I'm hearing that it was thirteen uh months. Yeah. So if it was thirteen 15 months we way behind and we way mm -hmm. off we can be off probably 25 years from now it can be what 1999 right now for real and we thinking it's 2024 you know like mm -hmm. it's all about what we take in we it's all about doing your research especially as a black person man it's about doing your research because it all started with us and when we go and be fooled we're gonna be fooled by everything and I'm not a person that just follows. So I like to do my research. I like to watch videos. I'm up on a lot of stuff, man. A lot of research is on history, man. Oh, no doubt. And I love Apocalypto. You ever seen that? Yep, I seen that. So the funniest thing about that movie is that they show the Mayans like after 200 years ago. Right. right? Everything was colonized. Yeah. But the, but the original ones was black as us and i would say like the closest depiction of them are niggas from florida because they wear their hair you know anybody knows that we the only ones that grow our hair like that okay you know we, we the only ones that um like from our bodies our height you know that they never seen um no shit like that even the giants you know what I'm saying? The Book of Enoch, who survived the Noah's Ark. If we really want to get biblical and stuff like that, but it's, um, you know, it was these people called the, the Onaki who came and built civilizations yep. and showed the civilians how everything were and technology and stuff like that. Um, they said that they was like black people too. So, it's just so much to unravel and stuff like that. I don't want to get too um, deep because I don't want to scare nobody away and stuff like that. Because I want all my views back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, shit. Yeah, he, he, he talking about some deep stuff. <laughs> but hey, the powerful man is a powerful mind. You know what I'm saying? A powerful mind is a powerful man. And some people don't want to open up. They so used to what they follow, you know? Yeah, and no doubt. I'm just not going to follow anything, you know? And especially when. I'm not, I'm not gonna say white. I'm not gonna say black. I'm not trying to be race, put a race, but especially when people put something in front of us and say, "Here you go." Yeah. I'm not just with that. Here you go. I, I want to see where did where this come from or how did it start? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's important because you gotta know where you've been to know where you're going. There you and go. Just where I've been, and just where I'm at now. I'm not satisfied. You know, I know it's possible to be able to grow and to evolve. So I just want to see what else lies for me and just, you know, for you as well. And we have to just really understand that it's just going to take work. But that's the kind of work that I'm excited because I'm my best project. I'm my best investment. There you go. And when you invest in yourself, man, it's just nothing but good rewards comes yeah. out of it. And you're not going to get that by doubting yourself and staying around people who don't have your best interests. Because it's everything is just, I would say that we all sponges to a certain degree. There you, you go. Know, soak up what you're around yep. and what you're exposed to. Yeah. But you have to get away from that and you're not allowed to control people's mouths or actions. There you go. But just know that you was genuine, that you have to choose you because nobody else gonna choose you but you. There you go. And I had learned that, man. And and, and, and it's cool. You know, I don't, it don't bother me when I'm alone. 
because I know the best is yet to come. There you go. So, but yeah, um, final question. Okay. And everything. Um, so, what would you go back and tell your younger self? Whoa, that's man, you hit me on that one. Okay, you hit me on that one. Okay, what would I go back and tell my younger self? If I knew what I knew now, what would I go back and tell my younger self? Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. I rushed a lot of stuff, you know, and I was just say, take my time, man. Take my time because patience is patience is everything you know and sometimes we rush into a lot of stuff not knowing how the outcome will be and it, it messes up a lot that you can that you are running to into your future you know that's what i would say so i would say take my time man and what would yours be oh man um i would say um don't get too attached because because anybody can switch up on you, and it's just like hurts when it's somebody that y'all was inseparable. You know, like those, those friendships like this on TV, Man, or like Florida Evans and her friend, you. you know, type. Thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, because you just, you just like, you just never know. You know, one day they love you, next day they hate you. Or during your life type shit, and you just like, damn, how long you felt this way type thing. So yeah, I just always tell myself to do what what, what makes Will happy, and no regrets, man. Keep shining, keep grinding. But yeah, bro, it was a pleasure, and man, you gotta come back sooner, man. Man, we're gonna have to do it right a month you now. So give you a little time to get your. You know other people in but man i'm gonna stay in touch with you most definitely man and i'm proud of you man and i'm happy you got me back on this show because two powerful minds together is a blessing talk man and oh, I, no I appreciate this and keep prospering keep growing bro keep spreading the love keep spreading the courage bro and uh you know blessful things will come to you always bro you great man man thank you man you too man likewise man you take care bro yeah you too bro, bro. all right Yes. Yeah.